Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a long time ago when I was in art school. There was a, one of the assignments, I think, good old days. Well, I want to try this. Um, I did a watercolor type image the other day and this time I'm going to try on some kind of using that uh, this line image, I mean uh, pencil drawing type image. Use this line image, I like it here. A nice line image out edge and stuff. So uh, I'm going to make illustration something from this. Well. I use Adobe Photoshop, use a filter called Find Edges on this image and I'm going to change the, the blend mode normal to darken then turn opacity down to about 50% then I also I'm going to use of course this base image I'm going to make duplicate layer layer then I'm going to change name, rename, then I don't use this base image now so I'm going to turn it off working on smudge layer okay now let's get started I'm gonna uh, select choose that uh, this smudge tool is today I'm gonna use this blackburn I don't know, this is first time to use as a smudge tool. Okay, now, from this. Okay, let's go for outlines of his, oops, that's big, make it smaller. Still kind of big, I think. Maybe this metal. Well, it's need to move a lot, huh? Well, well. In this case, much smaller. Oh, well. It's not what I expected. So I'm gonna change that. Uh, how about Evolve? What kind of brush is this? Let's see. Wrong. I guess that's cool. Yeah, it looks like uh, some kind of painting texture. Okay, let's go for Evolve. Smudge tool. Drawing to Evolve. Well, this one says Japanese, but don't worry. You can find it in your iPad. Okay, on the smudge tool. Mismatch layer. Okay, I go smudge all the way. Now I see the pencil drawing type image with this outline edge, which I used the edge. I mean the fine edges. The name of the filter. Hmm, this is pretty nice brush texture, okay. Well, well, that's cool. First of all, smudge the outlines, edge, and then smudge the inside. Okay, that's cool. Go for edge of the image. Like uh, here, I'm gonna move the brush. I mean tool, like direction of the hair, <coughs> and then inside the hair. Because I'm gonna smudge this on direction, same direction of the hair goes in, goes out, and also. Smudged a little bit. Yeah, this is 
size of the toy is pretty small so it's not gonna distract his nicely uh, smudged soften up the shadow and uh, some retouching type image yeah pretty cool pretty cool nice guy isn't it okay I'm making a little just a touch bigger to smudge this but again I'm going to make it smaller to the uh, edge of the subject like a outlines nice texture now outlines I'm using this on a pretty small size of the tool but uh, inside like a wrinkles like this kind of things area I use more just touch bigger to smudge here from highlight area to dark area you see some and okay, that's good and uh, again oh I'm gonna smudge this shadow area maybe that's okay to use a little bit bigger size of the smudge tool size of the brush but again if you smudge this kind of small little area make it smaller so show some what this is you don't have to read this but uh, just smudge small size of the brush makes good okay now edge of the shirt I can go just a touch bigger that's pretty finish up quick fast and jeans yeah that's cool pretty good then again Okay, one more good looking guy here and make it a little bit smaller now. Now it's just touch bigger to smudge inside, no edge. Then again now over here. He's got curly hair, so smudged just just like drawing the circle or something. Same time, the edge of the shirt and the edge of the face. Then same time you can retouch on skin. Just a little bit smooth it out type stuff. When you make it bigger, just touch. Now you can sm uh, smooth it out. That's cool. Okay. Almost done. Four face. Now go for jacket. It's wrinkles, so just touch bigger size of the smudge to size. We see the pencil drawing type image here, so it doesn't look so much. But when you, once you turn this off, you see the smudge image is pretty ab abstract. You cannot, you don't see what that is in closer look. Once you go back, then you see some about this kind of area. I go just touch more bigger. So just show the density of the image, like a little bit dark, medium tone and stuff. Just to see that uh, key light area too. Working okay, this brush is pretty good. Okay, now you see the shirt and the hand. Okay, I smudged almost 
the four models to guys. Now I'm gonna smudge background, make it more bigger. This smudge, this much bigger is fine here. I'm gonna color, put the color on these greens later. Yeah, nice. Pretty big texture, but pretty good. You see these textures? Then, I like this color orange too. That's pretty nice. Also, this magenta color too. Some kind of orange. And this pretty nice color again. Yeah, I'm tapping a bit. It's gonna break the straight line. That's what I like. Yeah, that's cool. That's nice. Yep. Okay, let's. Well, you don't tell about around here. Maybe I'm gonna put some using the same brush, same texture. I mean, uh, it's now smudging tool, but uh, I'm gonna find this is evolve. So same texture of the brush to drawing to evolve this one, right? Brush. Maybe I can paint with this brush. Now it's smudging though. Let's smudge it, then take out this real photos texture of the wall using that uh, mid big, make it bigger. So more concrete texture on this wall. I'm gonna take these out, just smudge it. Okay. And that's all about it for smudging. Now, I'm going to paint. I'm going to add layer, then paint on this with same brush, Evolve. Then pick some color. I want this, you see these greens, trees. Well, make it a little bit more light color to it. Draw, yeah. You don't see much now, but I changed this layer one. It's normal now. Let me see what happens. Doesn't change much. Oops, it changed. What was it? Color. I need to paint it strong no okay let's see I just paint it on there pin line linear well this brush texture is kind of hard I think yeah it's good good for smudging texture but uh, it's not painting texture it doesn't I think so let me change the painting. I use the drawing group. So let's find the painting group to maybe Saramanca or Spectra. Let's see. Yeah, maybe this is better, huh? Soft light. Let's change the blend mode normal to soft light. Yeah, let's use brush also. Use a painting to spectra. Now more nicer image, I think. Yeah, let's go here. Now blend mode is soft light. Here, nice magenta, magenta to some color layer. 
to orange. This is kind of gray, but that's good. Maybe make it a little more dark. Well, I have this layer for soft light blending mode. So I'm gonna add another layer for background. Same background, both of them. Just rename, then change this, rename. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's just normal now. Okay, I'm gonna paint on this. Okay, I may add some dark here with same spectra. Select the Okay, now this is normal. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna leave hot light for this now. And then from here, I'm gonna mask, make mask on this smudge layer. Okay, I'm gonna make, make mask and uh, invert this. Now, reveal with, well, I wanna try this Lalapuna. Brush size, max. When you tap it, it's go really dark. That's interesting. Okay, now just reveal. I'm just not tapping, just slightly move the brush and I see this nice colors background then I'm gonna tap maybe now you see the tapping that's pretty cool I guess this blue is too strong. I'm gonna. Well, wait a minute. I'm gonna finish up here first. Nice texture of the brush. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see. Okay, now reveal. White, white. I'm gonna show this pencil drawing line image. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. So I'm gonna make mask again on this. And then with the black, just hide. Same way, tapping. Well, I'm gonna me a brush and I have to tap anything. I'm so careful for this edge outlines, but inside I'm gonna hide. Well, this is okay. Let's just take that dust, block that and stuff. Okay, now I think this blue is 
pretty strong so uh, I'm gonna tone just down a bit about 70 65 60 percent or so yeah won't bother me this much okay mm, nice color background but uh, let's see maybe I can fix some um, from here just touch facial tone or want to make it better okay color balance pencil select here balance just a touch mid-tone going green green shadow side same I'm going green more yellow then go red this is shadow side mid-tone same thing it's too much cyan go to red then too much blue so go down to yellow now highlight side same thing a little more red then a little more yellow just going back now mid-tone I see yellow too much so just go back to blue and shadow side I want yellow more now let's see this this is too big I think and also hand touch more here okay just touch shadow side has yellow too much so going back then go red more more healthy look then mid tone goes to I see some yellowish so go up the red it's now pretty much healthy look highlight fine shadow maybe middle mid tone needs to be more blue water red down green we see about here too okay now just touch shadow side Now, highlight, maybe red. No, mid tone. Well, this is so, oh, yeah, pretty much better, I think. Let's see it. Smudge on this, okay? Go back. This is kind of blue water. Now it's a little more warm. Yeah, I go for this way. Okay. Now I think I'm done. I don't use it, uh, this base image. And uh, let's check it out. This background blue. Uh, blend mode is hard, hard light and 60% on and off then background soft light that's a greenish and yellow background 100% max this almost this greens if it's it's strong do you think then go down just a touch 70% maybe that's yeah I guess so 
Okay, now what else? Okay, well, I guess that's it for today. And uh, thank you for watching my video. And I really appreciate for your support. And you have, uh, you guys have a nice day. And uh, see you next time. Bye now. Ciao.